everybody. This is Keisha with the Keisha Keen Saving Greens. And today, I'm doing stuff a little different. I wanted to bring you along with me while I organize my seeds and put them into my organizer. And I'm not gonna show you the whole process because you know it's kind of boring, I guess. Um, just me separating seeds and putting them in the drawers. But I also wanted to share with you some of the newer varieties that I got this year um, to grow in my spring garden. And I'm excited about it because, well, you'll see why. A lot of it is some good stuff. So I'm happy to be able to share this with you guys. I already went about cataloging all of my seeds so that um, I know what I have and what I don't have and what I have two of because you know sometimes I'm on there and I'm <laughs> looking around on the website and I'm shopping and I might think oh I don't have no more of that and then later on I find out I did have some or as in this case, I bought from two separate seed companies the same items. So, you know, I have to catalog what I have. And then I also put like a, a wish list of things that I need. And then also, let me show you. I started doing a, a mock-up of where everything is going to go. So, I'm really not that much of an organized person, but this kind of has forced me into that direction only because um, I like to be able to, especially now when things is all dead and nothing's really going on, I like to catalog what I have and inventory it so when I go to plant the seeds um, in the starting trays, then I, I can mark off, check off which ones I did so I don't lose track. And then later, after I get everything um, out into the garden, even though I have a mock-up drawing here, things change. I get out there, I take the seedlings and I go and I'm like, you know, this is not exactly where I want this. And so I take my little handy dandy <laughs> uh, notebook with me and I'll write right then and there, okay, this is what's in this box and it's on this corner or whatever. I did that last year with Tomato Row, so I knew what all, even when the name plates that I put on the stakes of which variety was planted there, even when those name plates faded because of the sun and you know all the elements that was going on outside, I knew which tomato was which because I logged them all down. And I know some people, you know, do a video journal like that. And um, I have a video blog too, just so I'll know, okay, this is, this is here, this is there. But uh, I find it a little bit easier instead of flipping back through um, video, um, I find it a little easier just to pick up my notebook and look at it and know what is where. And also, when I'm doing my video tours, my garden tours, then I can say with confidence, okay, this is here. And I'll have my little cheat sheet with me <laughs> so I don't get it twisted. But anyways, you guys, so I'm just going to start putting some of my seeds and stuff in here. And I have things, I don't know if you can see, you can't see it all that well, on top of here that of other items that I'm going to store in this as well. I'm just trying to keep some, some kind of um, organization, some kind of system here of um, things. And so... I think what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to explain to you, okay, so like this top drawer right here, and you can see this one, but I will pull it out. It's deep. It's all enclosed. So this one, I'm going to place all of my fall winter seeds in this one. And this one's a little bit smaller in size than, say, this one. Let me kind of move this out of the way. This one is a lot wider. And so this one, I'm gonna place all of my spring and summer seeds because 
I have a lot more spring and summer seeds than I do fall and winter. And I think in this little narrow one here, this one, it's not as deep, it's shallow, and it's narrow. Um, this one, I'm gonna place all of my tea garden seeds because this spring, I wanna grow a tea garden. I've started drinking a lot more tea than coffee, and it would just be nice to have um, tea that has not been, things have not been added to it, like caffeine and stuff. Just natural, all natural. I'm trying to do a lot more all natural things um, and put a lot of more, a lot more all natural things in my body. So, and then this big drawer here, it's deep and it's not easy to take out. <laughs> and it's see-through. This one, and it's wide too. This one, I'm gonna place uh, stuff like my garden tools. I have some handheld garden tools. So that'll go in here. And I have some other stuff like, like this amaryllis that I never, I haven't planted yet. Um, until I go and plant it somewhere and find a place for it, I'm gonna stick it inside that drawer. But, I mean, you can kind of see on the side here, I have a lot of stuff just piled up right here because it needs to be organized. And then I used my, I have a, a, a cabinet on my coffee table that I use and I put a lot of my stuff in too. So, <laughs> my garden stuff is just kind of taking over everything. But anyways, this bottom drawer here, very bottom this last big drawer is deep and enclosed this drawer is where i'm going to store all of my camera equipment that i have and I, I won't be able to fit my tripod in there not my big one but everything else will be able to fit in there so that i can keep that all in one place so i can find it when i need it too so anyways i just wanted to show you guys some of the seeds that i'm going to be growing this summer on this spring that I'm really excited about and I did some extra I did a lot of shopping <laughs> and I tried some new seed companies this year I mean I have my tried and true um, like this one is everybody who shops from them knows what who this is this is um, Baker Creek and I, I get a considerable amount of my seeds from them but I uh, tried a, a couple of different seed companies, and so I'm pretty pleased with what I got. First of all, there's, I'm growing, these are all my new things that I'm growing. So, like, this year I'm going to be growing this rattlesnake pole bean. I'm excited about that. I love onions. I've said that. I grow onions, like the sets, onion little sets and stuff, and I have some over here, too. Um, that I haven't planted yet, but this onion is huge. It looks, well, maybe it just looks that way because that little girl is holding it, but it's huge. <laughs> and if you guys, if you don't know me by now, I'm, if you're new watching this video and you're like, hmm, what is so good about this woman's channel? I like to grow different things, like unique things, things that grow big or things that are colorful or, you know, I just like to experiment to see. And a lot of these things are not different from what other people are growing. In fact, I got a lot of these from, and I'm not even going to try and say this one. This is a Bor Borlato di Vigivano. No, no, it's a bean. Uh, but I like the colors and stuff. And so a lot of these, I got um, the ideas of the from other people, from other YouTubers that I watch. And I'm like, oh, that's neat. I think I want to try and grow that. So a lot of these things you may have seen before, but for me, it's new. 
and I'm excited because I can't wait for this stuff to grow. And this year, I am like so head over heels with flowers. And I didn't usually, I wasn't like the type of person that I'm just like, oh, I gotta have this flower, that flower, and I plant flowers everywhere. I'm not that type of person. Um, I, I just, with me starting this whole gardening journey about three years ago and learning how important the bees are, honeybees are, or different pollinators, I, I'm just coming to terms with being in the same space as a whole bunch of insects. <laughs> because I'm the person that goes running screaming into the house when there's bumblebees or one of those annoying fig eater bugs, the beetles. I get so annoyed by those things and they, they tend to chase me around and I didn't bring it over here with me, but I have this badminton racket. <laughs> and I'm starting to take that out with me into the garden because those things are relentless. They want to try and land on you or something. I don't know what they're trying to do, but they always chase me in the house. I finally came to the to terms with that, okay, I need these bugs in order to grow healthy, good crops, good food. I need these bugs to pollinate stuff. So anyways, I'm planting more things that's going to attract the pollinators like this queen lime red zinnia. I don't know if that, oh, there we go. Um, or this hollyhock. Now I have hollyhocks already growing out in my garden, but I have not grown these. These are called black king pansy. I'm just trying to see if that is picking it up. Oh, there we go. I gotta go just a little bit closer for it to pick it up. Now, the story behind these is a friend of mine from church, <laughs> she's into gardening too. And you know, she sometimes watch my videos, so hi Carrie. <laughs> um, she had, we seed swapped last season and uh, we just recently did a seed swap again. And, uh, but last season she gave me a few, I took like five of these beans, these dragon tongue beans. I took like five of these from her and I planted them and Cornelia, Cornelia, my tortoise, got up there into my bed and she ate all the dragon tongue bean plants. She ate all of the squashes that I had planted in there, the seedlings, the squashes, and she ate like half of the watermelon seedlings. I was so mad. And I only knew it was her because she left evidence. She left poop on the weed uh, fabric that I had down. She left poop on there and I'm like, oh, Cornelia. So now I have to put a little fence around my watermelon bed so that she can't get in there. And now I have an, another tortoise. Um, if you guys have been watching my videos, I have Thaddeus now. And both of them are overwintering right now. They um, they don't really hibernate. They It's called brumate. They're in brumation right now. So they're not out walking around or anything, but <laughs> you'll see them when spring comes around. Around March is when she starts coming out and showing herself and I'm sure Thaddeus is gonna be out too. He's big, he's a big, he's a big boy. But anyways, I have to safeguard my garden now from two of them. <laughs> but, um, and this is a Amish melon that's new that I'm growing this year. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just like, there's a lot of new like peppers and watermelon. Look at this watermelon. Look how tiny that one is. And so I'm just, you guys, I'm so, I, I'm like excited. And there's so much work to do to prepare my garden for all of this. And so I'm working on it, but, and that's a Jimmy Nardello Italian. I heard these was really flavorful. So I'm excited. And these Cubanelles peppers, they get really big. Let's see, is it gonna focus in on it? 
I was trying to focus in on me. There we go. Um, and so, and then this Blacktail Mountain. Oh yeah, this one, the, the watermelon gets up to 12 pounds. Um, I have Sugar Rush Red. And then I also, I also, in that seed swap that I did with my friend, um, she had Sugar Rush Peach. So I got some of those seeds from her. And I'm growing habanadas. And oh, this one is so pretty, you guys. This Zulu pepper. Look at that. I believe in like as many colors of food as I can possibly consume, the better my health is gonna be. I mean, why else would God make it that way? There's so many different colors. And it's just so pretty. It's like, you know how they say, eat your vegetables? I'm like, eat your colors. Just, okay, so this is one that I got in the seed swap with my friend. I don't know if I can pronounce this right. It's Lysia, Lysia, something like that. Those are just so pretty, the color. So pretty. So, anyways, and I have this other one. It's a... Muras Murasaki purple. Look at that. So I'm excited, you guys. I'm so excited about everything, and I know I keep saying it is because it is true. This one is uh, Janos Gen Janos. It's Janosic. Janosic, something like that. But I thought that one was interesting. Yellow flesh watermelon. And you guys, I, I know I've said this many, many times, and if you've watched my taste video on me tasting uh, the Yamato cream watermelon last season, you know I don't like watermelon. But let me see, I have, let me see, I can tell you exactly how many watermelons I'm growing this season it's crazy for somebody who doesn't like watermelon. I like melons. Now, I don't mind melons, but watermelon is a different story. I have 29 different varieties of melons and watermelons. And of watermelon, about 15 of those. So about half of them are watermelons. So, yeah, I... Um, Oh, well, you know, you might be thinking, wow, that is a lot, right? Mm. My tomato list is even bigger. <laughs> and I'm not even finished. There's still a couple of varieties that I want to try and get um, for this next growing season. But you guys, I'm up to 75 varieties. Last year, I did 67. 75 varieties. One thing that I learned last season with growing tomatoes is sometimes they don't all make it. I had one that I didn't even get to taste because the plant itself got diseased and just died off. And so I never got to taste its fruit. And I had that happen. Um, I lost a, a few plants due to disease and stuff. So I said, okay. Um, and a lot of them I sold a lot of my seedlings, my extras that I had, and those all survived. The people who bought from me, all their plants did good. I should have kept an extra, a spare for myself, but what I did was I sold off, like I, I grew six of every variety that I grew, and I kept one for myself and sold the other five. I think this year um, I'm gonna hold on to two and so that way, you know, if things happen, then I have a backup. But yeah, so 75 varieties of tomato. And I'm not going to sit here and go through all of those. But one of the new varieties that I picked up, I already have uh, pink jazz. Well, this time I got orange jazz tomatoes. So, you know, and there's some, some differences like that. Um, where I just, I mean, there, it's already have some that are similar. Those are my new Baker Creek ones. 
And then, oh, I gotta show you guys. I got my hands on. Okay, so in this gardening group on Facebook that I'm in, um, I believe it's Friends of Baker Creek Seeds. Um, I think that's what it's called. The, somebody got on there and announced, oh, they restocked their um, seeds for this one. This watermelon, this lemon drop watermelon, or yeah, lemon drop watermelon. And you better hurry up and go in there. I was on there getting some seeds, you guys, because they go fast. And so, this one is a new, to me, company. It's not a new company. I mean, it's been around for years. But it's new to me. I, this is my first time buying from them. And you'll probably recognize them if you watch any of their videos. Which their videos are pretty popular. This is from Haas Tools. Or Haas Seeds. Um... And so this year I'm going to be growing birdhouse gourds. I'm going to try my hand at that. I need something that's going to fill in my trellis a lot better. So I'm growing those and some loofahs. And we'll see. Um, this one, I think it's this one, you guys. This one is the Georgia Rattlesnake Watermelon. Now, remember a few minutes ago I said, I don't like watermelon, right? This watermelon is gonna get up to 50 pounds. Up to 50 pounds, but I said I like to grow things that get big. <laughs> or unique, or whatever, right? Or like, I got yellow moon and stars from them too. I already have the regular moon and stars, but now that one has yellow flesh. And then I'm growing this super moon pumpkin. So that's cool. Now, this one is what I'm most excited about. And you guys, I don't know why. I do know why, because it's going to be huge. This watermelon is called Charleston Gray. See that? Mm. Charleston Gray. This watermelon, I looked it up. They said these watermelons have the potential of growing to 180 pounds. I got it. Now, that's something I got to see. You know, even if I don't eat it, even if I just cut it up and give it to all my neighbors or take it to church one Sunday and just let everybody have at it, <laughs> that's just something I got to see for myself. And then after I bought them and I was with my friend Carrie doing our seed swap and I was thinking, oh man, is my yard even big enough to hold these big old huge monster watermelons? <laughs> So I don't know, we'll see how it goes this season. But this is another new tomato that I'm gonna be growing this year, uh, sun sugar. And then I've heard a lot about mortgage lifter tomatoes and stuff and I saw it so I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and get, get some mortgage lifter seeds. These are supposed to be really good tomatoes. And then finally, you guys know I love sunflowers. Okay, and this is how much I love sunflowers. I'm gonna tell you how many sunflowers I got. Let's see, right now I'm up to 16 different varieties of sunflower. Yeah, and that's about to increase by two because if Haas has the ones, the other ones that I want still, I'm gonna order them tomorrow. And, um, but these ones are Pro Cut Lemon, but they have made a mistake because I had wanted a different one, but this is the one they sent me. So I'm gonna keep this one and then I'm gonna go reorder the one that I originally wanted. <laughs> it's kind of cool though, they give you stickers and stuff. So that's kind of cool that they do that. Oh, I gotta stretch with my other arm. I was out there outside today cutting uh, my oleanders back and um, I don't know, I started, I think I pulled a muscle in my back because my uh, back just started hurting in my chest. I had to come in and, and I, I pretty much finished the work already, but I do have a couple more limbs I need to cut off before I'm 100% finished with trimming those back. 
And so I just haven't gone back out yet to do that. But every once in a while when I turn a certain way, I can feel it. And it's just, ugh. So anyways, let's see, moving on to the next. This one is a new company. Well, new to me. This is my first time buying from this company. And it's called Urban Garden Seeds. And, you know, they package everything. Everything was packaged pretty good. And all the seeds, um, they give you a good amount of seeds. But this is my first time growing these from them. So, look at, I got, that's why I was saying, I got another dragon tongue. I don't know if you see that, there you go. Another dragon tongue. I ordered from two different places the same thing. So, anyways. Um, but I, uh, I won't, this year when I mark, when I mark down what I'm growing, I'm going to also mark the seed company that I got it from so then I can give a review on the seeds, um, how well they germinated, um, how well they grew, um, and how well they did, so... Yeah, last year I didn't do that. I didn't think to do that. I just uh, wrote down the varieties, and that was it. Okay, so this one, a lot of you guys are going to recognize, too, because a lot of people buy from him. I'm not sure if it's true or not, but I heard something about the prices went up. I bought from M.I. Gardner. Look at these flowers. They're so pretty. You know, his prices was 99 cents per pack, but I'm going to have to check it out and see because I was told that the prices went up. So, yeah, I have a, a lot of things that I got that I'm going to be growing. Um, these are a couple of the tomatoes that are different. Like, I didn't, I didn't get evergreen. I didn't grow that last year and I didn't grow the, um, what is it called, the homestead tomato either, so oh, it's going to be a first for me this year. Um, and then I have like, I have corn and stuff that I bought and some zucchinis, some extra zucchini. That one's a gray zucchini. I bought more flowers. And look at this radish. It's called German Giant. German Giant. And these little eight ball zucchini squash. I'm looking forward to growing these actually. Because if you remember last season, I grew those um, scalloped squash or patty pans and I made some really good dishes with those using them as a bowl and so I can't wait I'm gonna stuff these eight ball with stuff too and see how well those work out for that but yeah I'll probably end up you'll probably hear me repeat you know it's as I plant stuff, as I grow stuff, what is what. One of the things that I'm really, really happy about is the sunflowers that I'm going to be growing this year. And I want you guys to see, like, this sunflower. I don't know if it's going to pick it up. Let's see. This one is um, from Enchanted Dreamer Company. It's Cherry Rose Sunflower. It's so pretty. It has that oh, ring of white around the flower and the middle is a burgundy color. So pretty. I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, Enchanted Dreamer Company. Um, and I actually received that really fast in the mail, so I was happy about that one. <laughs> and then I have, let's see. This company is called Zilly's Garden. Look at their packaging. 
Look at the envelope that they sent it in. They are, oh, I probably won't show that part. I'll probably take that part out because it showed my address. But I bought some Pro Cut Red Sunflowers from them. But their little packaging is so cute. And then uh, those are just some of the people that I bought these specialty flowers from because, like I said, I wanted to grow. Like this company is called Sang Garden 17. Um, you probably won't be able to see this, the writing on this plastic, but it says chocolate cherry sunflowers. I'm really excited about growing these because the color is so rich and burgundy and deep. I like that. Well, red is my favorite color. All shades of red, my favorite color, so. You know, <laughs> and then this one is from P and E Seeds. P and E Seeds. Um, this is a white night sunflower. So this one's gonna be all white. I can't wait to see that one. How that one looks. And then this one is um, from. The Art and Flower Store. The Art and Flower Store. Let me see, where's the flowers? And this one is the, it's just a, a regular red sunflower. Yeah, it's just a regular red sunflower. And what I'm discovering, what I'm learning, is when it says Pro Cut, it just means that uh, it doesn't have the pollen. It's a pollenless uh, flower. And a lot of people that are um, growing flowers for profit, um, they that sell them like to grow those sunflowers better because there's no allergy reactions and issues like that so I don't know what this one what is this one I already showed you this one and I have others I did some seed swap in with some people and this guy from one of my um, gardening groups that I'm on wanted to exchange some he wanted some of my Yamato cream uh, I believe it was Yamato cream, uh, watermelon seeds. And then he gave me uh, a whole bunch of different seeds. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that on there. Um, and some of them I'm really excited about. Like there's some, a couple of Thai chilies, uh, chili peppers. There's a, a pepino melon. I have never tried that before and I looked it up and it looks so interesting. I really, I can't wait. And then um, he sent me a tomato too. Uh, blue bumblebee tomato. And this um, other, I think this is a pepper. It's a variegated pequin. Pequin, I think that's what it's called. Anyways, you guys, you'll if you uh, subscribe to my channel, if you subscribe to my channel, then you'll see a lot of this stuff growing because I'm gonna plant as much of this stuff as I can. Um, and I have the room for it. I increased my growing space. I just have to be really um, particular. Uh, not particular, uh, intentional, that's it. I have to be really intentional on where and how I grow this stuff. There's another new sunflower. I just got this from Lowe's, I think, or Home Depot, one of the two. Uh, but this one is a skyscraper sunflower. It's supposed to get up to 12 feet tall. So I'm like, okay, that sounds good. I could do that. <laughs> You guys, I have so many more seeds. I have, believe me, these drawers are gonna be full 
of seeds. Um, and they're all down here. I just have to get them all separated and organized and, and stuff. I bought some strawberries that I'm going to be putting out soon. Getting them going soon. I bought some, a lot of bulb flowers this year. These are some gladiolas of the bulb flowers. I have like 11 different bulb flowers. So we'll see. I hope they come up. It's my first time growing any kind of bulbs. So I hope they grow um, and I hope they turn out really pretty. And you know, the uh, outhouse that I built for my dog, I'm going to start the seeds first for it and then I'm going to put them all down in there. But I bought some more morning glories and moon glories um, and moon flowers, I think they call them, and uh, to plant so it can vine up on her um, outhouse and stuff. So I can get that space finished. It's going to look so pretty with all the flowers and um, actually it's going to smell good too. <laughs> Because like I said, it's her outhouse. And so sometimes when the wind blows just right, she's looking at me because she's over here laying down on her bed. She knows I'm talking about her. She's looking up at me like, what? I can't help it. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, I am going to get this stuff organized and put together. And this video is already longer than what I had intended it to be. And I'm already losing my light here, so... I appreciate you um, watching this video. I thank you for subscribing. Um, check me out on Instagram. I have my Instagram there. A lot of these uh, photos and stuff are going to be up on my Instagram before this video even comes out. So if you want to be up current, up to date with what's going on in my garden and the things that I'm doing, then give me a follow there or on my Facebook page. It's also Lakeisha Keen Saving Greens. Instagram is also Lakeisha Keen Saving Greens. Makes it easier. Um, but you can follow me on there too because I post up to date current stuff on there. The videos usually come out sometimes a few days later, sometimes a few weeks later. So. You know, it just depends on how much content I'm making and how much time I have to edit it all. And uh, so I try and get it out, but there have been times I've fallen so behind. So follow me on those. And um, yeah, I'm excited. Once again, I'm excited for this year, this growing season. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And I think my garden is just going to just explode with color. So if you want to see that, then click that bell icon so you'll know when my videos come out. And you guys, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you've grown some of these varieties already, especially I mean, I'm really interested in that Charleston grape. If it really gets that big, um, let me know in the comments. I'll be interested in finding that out uh, so I'll know what to look forward to. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and as always you guys, God bless.